Hi everybody and welcome back to day number six of the advent calendar and uh, unboxing. So after yesterday's technical issues, um, hopefully today goes okay if you're watching this now then it obviously was alright. So um, yesterday's ones was the bookmark, the lovely bookmark and the stitch markers which are both currently in use. Um, so that was yesterday's and I thought today's one may have been stitch markers off my sister because it rattles but then if she's made some why would I get a box of them so I still think it may be yarn related but I'm not quite sure entirely what it is so that's that one and then the one off my mum I originally thought it was the same as the uh, makeup bag but then why would you get two makeup bags and now feeling it they're not quite the same um this has got a, like a lumpy bit and stuff in it so that's what made me think maybe a t-shirt so we're going to start with this one today uh, and just have a look let's see how right it was wrong oh i don't know it's in a bag in a bag in a bag so this is from Skinny Dip London. Tote bag includes an iron on patch. Oh, the NHS rainbow. Um, so if you're anywhere else in, um, in the world apart from the UK, during the first lockdown we had from March until um, it's like end of July, August time, I think, wasn't it? Um, end of July, because my maternity starting then so I switched over from being off work for that and then being off work for uh, maternity but basically over in the UK um, we were clapping every Thursday night for our NHS um, nurses and doctors and things to support them and people were um, putting up rainbows in their windows so this is really nice kind of nod to them um, so I get to iron on a patch onto uh, onto a little bag and I do collect bags so you know bag is biodegradable made from compostable degradable resin so that's good like you know it's even though it is this like plasticky feel it is a biodegradable one so that's really good really good for the environment I'm going to take it out and have a look let's have a proper look at this so I can think I can see yep yeah. oh I thought you, you know it'd be like um just a little like trans heat transfer like vinyl thing but this is actually a um like a, an embroidered one this is really nice this is actually sewn and then it's just that bit on the back i'm really honestly pulled my hands up really rubbish at sewing and anything like this so i'm gonna have to call my mum and go thank you very much how do i do the iron on if you know let me know oh haha <laughs> Oh, it's a Sunday morning. It's still the weekend. It's a long weekend in this household <laughs> with two kids. And oh, I didn't think to turn over. Right, keep the bag flat. Put the patch onto the place you want to attach it to. You can cover the patch by a jasonette. Is that a jasonette? I don't know. To avoid scorch. Hot ironing and pressing the patch by 30 seconds. Let it cool for three minutes. So do I just put that bit and then that bit melts on is that what that is if you know let me know in the comments because even though there's instructions i'm still not 100 percent sure on what i'm doing do i just take this off pop it onto the patch iron so it heats up and then that sticks and then leave it i'm going to assume that's it but so i don't do it wrong i'm going to double check but if you know oh got one of these little silica things Oh, it's a good size. Like bigger than my screen size. And it does feel nice too, so that's good. It feels really good, like strong. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, that's a really pretty bag. And then actually, after like a week of using it, it can't hold your shopping and stuff in it because it's not that strong. This actually feels really sh strong, so that's good. Good. Feels really nice, good quality, that. So that's nice. I get to pop a little. I'll probably pop it like so if this is the bag here um, and the handles there I'm probably going to stick it up near the top so it's nice and visible 
there's no point in putting it like in a corner or anything I'm probably going to put it at the top something like that's going to be nice once I do get that done it'll probably be in the next few days while I was at school um, and I work out exactly what I'm doing then I will showcase in a video late, at a later date so you can all see how it turned out um, so I'll pop that one to one side for now uh, really really like that um, it's all been very useful stuff <laughs> I've got a bag to put all my things in now um, I'm going to move on to my sister's one uh, so obviously that's the last one to do and we're just going to crack it open because I'm not entirely sure Ooh, so I can see this from the back where the label's been folded over. It's from So Crafty, which is by Aldi in the UK. Um, and these are some safety pins. I know why my sister's giving me these. A few weeks ago, I was like, Natalie, have you got any safety pins? Natalie's my sister. I was like, because I, need, I needed the couple just for a project I was doing. And I was like, I'm sure I've got safety pins somewhere and I can't find them and I still couldn't find them. So, <laughs> it's obviously so I don't keep stealing her safety pins. Um, so there's approximately 100 pieces in there, 27 mil each, which is the right size. I don't like the really big ones, I just needed a couple of small ones off of her. So, I thought they end up opening these up and giving her a couple back that I've used. <laughs> but these can be very, very handy because... I've been needing these for a while so yeah kind of yarn related it was yarn related um that I was using it for it was um there was a pattern where you like have a few safety pins and it all like connects together and um the way you like put your yarn around um you needed a safety pin in it so um that's fan dabby dozy and I used another one for uh I made a poppy for my daughter for school so I wanted to show her like she really wanted a poppy and she loves it when I make her stuff so I crocheted a little poppy um, and sewn it over a safety pin so um, that's what I used some more for so very handy that's going to definitely come in handy because I do do use them I can't use them in the traditional sense of sewing because I can't sew but for yarn craft I do use them so that's going to be good. So I'm going to move on to um, previewing tomorrow's stuff. Um, this one is my mum's one, we'll start with my mum's, it's opened hers today. As per usual everything is completely taped up so I can't even like sneak a peek but I have got a way in as usual. Um, this one's thin but like it's like bookmark size, it's a little bit of a gap there but it's like bookmark size again. And then it's thin here, but then here, I don't know if I can get that angle on camera, like here's thin and then it goes up a little bit so that, that it starts getting thicker here. And then that thickness goes right up to the edge. So it's like thin, then thick. I don't know why. I, I, completely stumped normally I'm pretty good at guessing like oh I've asked for um a book or I've asked for this this year and then I can like feel the shape and the way everyone knows what a book is when it's wrapped um like a dvd or something this year no clue so your guess is as good as mine well probably going to be better because I don't have any idea so if you do pop it down and let me know but the one for tomorrow I'm more excited about is this one from my sister now this is quite heavy it's quite big and it doesn't like rattle but you can feel things moving inside it so this is it it's a nice big one um, it's quite thick and chunky and when I like shake it I can feel things like moving in it so maybe like a bag of soaps or something entirely sure but it is heavy so I um, don't know on that one um, I'm going to go with some like soapy things or something maybe maybe she's just done like a little beauty bit in it so I'm going to guess soaps for that one another bookmark maybe like a thick bookmark but then what you don't have thick bookmarks a piece of chocolate <laughs> no because no chocolate is that thin oh I, I genuinely can't think I don't know I really don't know on that one. 
that's going to be a complete and utter surprise because I have no idea. And apparently I'm not that great at guessing what's in what. So um, I'll leave you to your day uh, for now as we've come to the end. If you have any idea, if you have any tips on sewing that patch on, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. Look after yourselves and everybody around you. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos and you want some more. Cheers, bye.